Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode in the world of nothing. Today we are going to be looking at uh, simple armor stand commands. These timestamps will pop up right now for you to jump to them uh, if you're interested in rotation or pose or anything like that. But for right now, I'm going to start off with uh, the basics. So, what you want to first do is grab a name tag. Any old name tag will do. I named mine guy1, you pop it in here, you can name it whatever you want, so I named it guy1, can't do that again, uh, shoot, alright, so, what you want to do is go up there and click, right click on it, just one will do, I do it multiple times just so that I, so that I know that uh, it for sure did it, so now what I want to do is, first of all, slash data get entity at e equals uh, well, type equals armor stand and comma limit equals one and boom. Look at that. Now you don't need need me at all. You don't need me at all for for any of this because these are all the commands that uh, that you can use. All right. Okay. Compre comprende whatever the Spanish word is. So. Now these are all the commands. This is a little bit of a guideline for for you all. So what you want to do is to use any of these commands, you change the slash data get to slash data merge. Alrighty, alright. So then I name this guy guy one, correct? So I'm going to quickly change this to be very specific. I'm going to do the name instead of what it is. Wait, well, computer, why would, why did it go off of my, what is going on over there? Alright, having a little bit of technical difficulties, but name equals, remember capital G, and then no space, you never have any spaces in the names that is forbidden, alright, so the capital, it's very specific, if you don't have a capital here, that can be another armor stands somewhere else. So, now that you have selected this armor stand right in front of me here, it's time to do the actual command. So what you want to do is do these weird brackets here, show arms, and then colon one. Boom. And now, it even says modified entity data of guy one. But what if you don't want arms anymore? This guy ain't good enough for arms. So you do zero, not ten. Zero. So that's how you do arms. And then you can equip them. Just like that. Easy as pie. Nothing easier. Alright. So then the next one is base plates. No base plate. And then again, the colon and one. And now he has no base plate. He's looking like me every second. And of course, if you don't want the no base plate anymore, you can have a, if you don't want the no base plate anymore, that kind of makes sense because it's a double negative. So there you go. Now you have a base plate again. And also, if you want, say, in like a medieval town with a blacksmith there, you want the sword on the anvil. You want to make it look super realistic. Okay. So what you want to do is first of all change this guy. You can do one right away. Change him to invisible. <gasps> and he can't even be destroyed in creative. If you accidentally hit him, he can't be destroyed. It's impossible. Okay, so now the, the fourth little, little command here is that I forgot to put up there gravity. Okay, so gra he is affected by gravity right now. So what you want to do is no gravity. One. There you go. It said it modified him. If you do that again, uh, it said it modified him. Okay, whatever. So, he has no gravity now. Now, and of course, once again, with the invisible, if you don't want him invisible again, you do zero. Okay, so. Next is TP. I've gone in F5 mode or third person, whatever you want to call it. So, it's a little bit different. It's a different command. It's a totally different command. So, what I do, 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 do is at E, teleport. So with the teleport command, it's always teleport something to something else. In other words, teleport some, teleport you to your friend. All right, you 
If you, want, if you want to change it up, you do your friend to you. It's always a to, not from, but a to. Okay, so name equals uh, guy one, and then comma limit equals one. Teleport him to me. Now look at that. I have a floaty sword. Look at that. It's like I'm stabbing someone. Hoya! That looks pretty cool. But now, if I jump and quickly do it, you can see that it, the sword is just floating there. And if I do, if I turn off the gravity, or if I turn the gravity back on, actually, he falls back down. Okay, so do that. And do that. Yup. Yup. So you can have this on. Hold on. Give me back my command block. Where are you? Okay, you can have this on. Copy this. A command block. I uh, can just set it to repeat. And look at that. Isn't that neat? So for some reason, if one sword doesn't cut it, you have two swords now. <laughs> Anyways, so yes, you can do you can do crazy stuff. Get rid of problem is you can't break using this stuff very well because he's in your way. So yeah, destroy my map. So now, what if you want this guy to teleport to a specific location, not to a specific player? So what you want to do is I don't need to go in F5 more for that. You look at a block, and you can see right here that you're looking at a block. Okay, so TP once again at E name equals uh, guy1, that's a comma, limit equals 1, boom, and then you do 10, uh, 67, negative 16, and there you go. And of course you can realign, if you uh, watch to the pose, which will come like right now, you can, you can see how you would be able to put the sword onto the anvil using the pose command. But for right now, you've learned how to teleport. <gasps> Come back! Uh-oh. Um, 16. Boom. Ha-ha. <laughs> uh oh He didn't, he had gravity affecting him. So, you want to learn about the slash pose, eh? It's not the slash pose, it's pose. It's pose in the band. Anyways, grab a name tag, name it, whatever you want. I'll name mine guy2. Click them a bunch of times just for good luck. And now, slash data, I almost blanked there, merge um, entity at E name equals capital G guy, no space two, limit equals one. Alrighty, so now we have got the command. We want to do the pose. So, what we want to do is pose. That's a semicolon. Colon, another, another one of these. You can pose anything. You can pose right head, right head. <laughs> you can pose right head and left head. You can pose right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg, and head. For right now, I'm just going to do right arm. Alrighty. Then we do another colon, square brackets, zero f. Uh, we can do something like this actually. Zero f comma zero f comma zero f. We don't need the comma there. And then like that. All right. Now he doesn't have any arms now, so you can you can still tell. You can actually do the same thing with the left arm if you want it like uh, all all formal and everything like that. Square shoulders. But I, I don't know what you want. But we actually need to show the arms. So we'll just do that. There we go. Now he's just standing there. He is a he's a good soldier, and a fine warrior, cunning warrior. Anyways, I don't know why I'm doing that. Uh, so yeah, we go back to the right arm, and we can change this to 50, say negative 60, 600. That's not 60, and then two. Ha! You can do that with a head. Head. Yep. Do that with left leg. So yeah, he's in a good mood. He's dancing. So that's how you would you control the arm to 
position it so that like it's flat on the anvil and then you can use the the no gravity command and then so he's not affected by gravity and then use the TP to position himself ever so slightly on there you can go to the to the tenth you can go to the hundredth with the points I mean so yeah it, pretty cool pretty cool so you want to learn rotation eh what you want to do is grab a name tag name it whatever you want I'll name this one guy three throw that away once you clicked on him and so what you want to do is slash data merge entity uh, e and name because we want a specific armor stand in, the, in this case the armor stand that I'm looking at guy three and the limit is one alright so I don't have more than one of them so there you go that's our command and then we do this rotation alrighty colon and then square bracket zero f we can just start off with alrighty and then we can go 10 go 20 go 30 and you know it I think you get the idea and of course if you are making like a really advanced adventure map well not advanced but whatever you know what I'm you know you can put implement this into commands obviously really gets the blood pumping to see me hiding my face so yeah very easy stuff everything that I just showed you are in this commands Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something. And, you know, surprise me. Show me show me something that you've created with Armistan somehow. That would be awesome. But thanks for watching and goodbye.